Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back uh, with the second edition of Quick Hits of the Day. Uh, we come at you twice a day with Quick Hits. Uh, we did the earlier episode on the Mario Barros versus Tank, Tank Davis rumors. Uh, we're back talking about another Texas fighter who's set to return. Uh, one of my favorites, this is going to be fun for me, uh, Pantarita Omar Figueroa Jr. is set to return. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, we do two episodes a day of quick hits. Um, just eight to ten minutes uh, an episode twice a day to keep you up to date with all the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, that's kind of content you're looking for. You want to be kept up to date on everything in the world of boxing. Please like and subscribe. Um, that's 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. And as well, hit the thumbs up button. Um Smash the uh, bell um, so you get notified every time we go live. Uh, but let's get right into it. Uh, and this is going to be fun for me because Omar Figueroa is one of my favorite fighters. Um, obviously, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an Omar Figueroa and a Brandon Figueroa uh, fan and stan. Uh, Omar was one of, if not my favorite fighters for a season. He's had some personal problems, some setbacks. Uh, he's had a loss uh, to Ugas that was on the undercard of Thurman and Pacquiao. He has not fought since, so he's been out. It'll be, uh, you know, well over a year and a half, going on almost two years since he's been in the ring. He had a layoff. You know, he fought twice, um, like Molina and Ugas. He had a layoff before that. I mean, he's been highly inactive since 2015. Um, the good news is he's only 31, so he's not old. Um, I wish you could say he was just resting and, and, and recovering his body, but he's had some problems with DWI. He's had personal issues. Uh, he really likes the booze and the women. Um, but he's back. And when he's right, he is one of the most fun fighters in the world to watch. Now, I'm not saying he's pound for pound or anything. I'm just saying from an entertainment perspective, there's not many fighters who are more fun to watch than, than, than Figueroa. Um, and he's fighting Abel Ramos, like I said, on the um, undercard of Fig um, Andy Ruiz and Areola. The fight's going to be in San Antonio. It's a couple hours from his hometown in West Lakota, Texas. He should have a good following there. Um, so this is going to be a fun fight. This is going to be entertaining. Uh, I'm glad to have him back. Um, so I, I want to get into it, right? Because he needs to be able to beat Abel Ramos, right? Ramos is a good fighter. Um, and... He's a veteran, but if Omar is going to get back to the world title picture, I don't know. I, I talked to him on his brother's card when his brother fought, fought Chacon down in the Rio Grande Valley uh, back in August of 2019, um, and he said that he could fight at either 40 or 47. I don't know the last time he even made 40. He says he can still make it. Um, he needs to – if he wants to get back to world championship level, it needs to be at 140. It's not going to be at 147. He's too small for 147. I mean, this is a guy that comes up from 135. He won his world title at 135. He's not He's not lightweight. And with his style, is predicated upon brute strength and volume and, you know, power and, and speed uh, – power and, and, and uh, strength. It, it doesn't translate well up to 147. Like, he can't fight with guys like Errol Spence. It's not going to work. 140 – I think he can he can still have a run there. Um, so the good, the bad, the ugly, the indifferent with him, um, he, he's a ton of fun to watch. Um, he's not as complete as his brother. He, he's, he switches his stance a lot, a lot, which is good. It, it gives the opponent different looks. It keeps him uncomfortable. Uh, but he needs to slip shots better with his head. right? When you can see he ducks to oh, he's ducks to his right. Um, he needs to be able to avoid the jab. Uh, like Brandon does. Brandon, like, again, these guys aren't Pernell Whitaker. You know, they aren't defensive geniuses, but Brandon's a lot more defensively responsible than is Omar. Omar is strictly a pressure, come forward, high-volume type of guy. Um, but 
when you can pop him with the jab, you can keep him out of position, right? Uh, and then he, he's not, not just – now he's not just out of position where he can't do what he wants. He's also there to be tagged with the right hand, which, um, which was something Ugas was able to do. Ugas was able to hit him from long range uh, and keep him at distance. He needs to be able to establish – his real estate, right? And I mean, that I mean he needs to be able to get inside. He needs to make this thing a fumble because the way he rips uppercuts, rips bodies, he is so brilliant offensively on the inside. He is such a good offensive um, skill, not just volume, not just power, but he's got a ton of skills. He can turn his punches, right? He can hit you at angles on the inside. He can work out of clinches. He can do so many good things on the inside, but he needs to keep the fight there, uh, especially at the highest level. Uh, he doesn't jab it up like his brother. He can't avoid the jab like his brother, but he's not as complete as his brother. Brandon has a much higher ceiling, but that doesn't mean that Omar can't have a ton of success. He can. Um, I would love to see Omar just get inside, turn this into a scrap. Omar had so many fun fights. Ricky Burns, DeMarco, the Japanese guy. Um, what was? I'm not even going to try to say the name, but he's had so many fun fights. Omar is, you know, He's a fight of the year waiting to happen. Um, so I, I hope he gets back. He did not look impressive in his two comeback fights when he fought in 2019. I'm hoping 2021 works out well for him. Um, he's a great guy. Uh, I hope he's got his drinking under control. But a win here, and I think he can stay at 147 and fight Ramos, um, Jesus Ramos. He could fight um, – But I mean, look, a fight – with Spence, it's not going to go well for him. I, I I think his best bet is to go down to 145, Adrian Broner, because that's a fight he can win, because Broner doesn't throw enough punches. Um, but a fight with Barrios would be huge, right? Two South Texas guys put it in the Alamo, uh, the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. That could be a lot of fun. So there are definitely fights that can be made, uh, and he's going to be entertaining in all of his fights, as long as he's prepared to go. I, I know he's had a lot of personal problems, um, but he can break down the body. He can come at you and wear you down and wear you out. And he's got good pop, right? For a guy that throws that much, there's good pop on his punches and he's really skilled on the inside. His uppercuts, he, he throws his uppercuts two, three, four at a time and they're lethal. Um, so I'm hoping for the best from him. Like I said, he's one of my favorite fighters to watch, period. Um, when he was 25, 26 and he won a world title, was like, he was just one of my favorite fighters. Not that he's the best fighter in the world, but he's just entertaining and fun to watch. Um, but let me know what you guys think. You're as excited. I'm sure you're not as excited as I am, but are you excited to see Brandon, uh, sorry, Omar Figueroa Jr. return? Um, are you into this Ramos fight? If you can beat Ramos, which I hopefully he still is able to, where does he go from here? Can he get back in the world title picture? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, it is February. I'm sorry, February. It is March 4th, 2021. Uh, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Uh, follow me on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, twice a day, 8 to 10 minutes, just to keep you up to date. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.